Hi everybody, how are you? In this video I'm going to take a look at the Yumi Twins care package from Tokyo Treats. It's kind of where it originated from. Um, it is a box that you can subscribe to to get to either to get monthly and then of course the the more that you choose, if you choose one month or six months or a year, the more you choose the less it is, but um, it's around $24 a month. Um, then it gets cheaper as you choose more. But I'm just going to take a look inside to see what's in here and if it'd be a good value for your money because that's always important to me and how cute it is. And um, the website says that it's all officially licensed merchandise, so that's a good thing. Um, but we're going to see what's in here. And of course, um, it's kind of cool because it comes straight from Tokyo. On the back, it actually has the customs form. And it's kind of, it's kind of stinky in a way because. Um, it has, it explains right here, they have to declare what's in the package itself, so if you look at that when you get the box, it'll actually tell you um, what's in there. I mean, it doesn't tell you exactly what's in there, but um, like I know the first one says 3D stickers, so I know there's going to be 3D stickers in here. Um, and then it says more, but I'm not going to tell you what it is, so. Um, but it's kind of neat though, because it comes straight from somewhere else besides the U.S. if you're in the U.S., which is where I am, so. We're going to take a look and see what's inside here and see if it um, is the adorableness that it should be. So, open it up and of course check out this. Comes in a super cute box. I love the boxes they come in. This one's purple so um, very cool. Very cute. And. First, we have the book that tells us a little bit about um, the, this is the grand opening box, so that's pretty sweet. We have, we'll read this together. I don't know why I want to open them backwards, is that like weird or, but kind of talks a little bit about it. Really cool box. Um, some of the things that are um, just talking about the pop culture of kawaii stuff and um, here's like a grand Yumi prize and then photo contests so like social media stuff and then it tells you what Yumi Twins is so you kind of know what the box is about and then oh I don't want to see that page yet next page tells me what's in there so we want to look at that and then just um, see, tell me, somebody said I read the book backwards for a different crate box, but here's a table of contents, like the chapters, you know, volume one. So I think that it really does read the other way. So I think I read it just fine. So first, peek, that's all you get. First thing I see is a cute little towel washcloth with little hearts and a little bow. Be perfect for my daughter Violet to play with. She'll probably use it as like a blanket for her dolls. So that's adorable. And then I see a cute little notebook. It's got little pandas. It kind of looks like the one panda is pulling off the other panda's face. It's kind of odd, but it's the Moki Moki panda. That's a cute little notebook, different size papers. It's adorable. And then I see this, which is cute. So let's open it up. Okay. And looks like it opens up. Do nothing. The mirror. Little mirror. And then in here, there's something. What do you think it'll be? It is little candies. Nice. 
So it looks like we just pop up the side, pour the candy in, put down the top again, and then it's like a little dispenser so that you could fill it back up with maybe Tic Tacs when you're done. They're kind of like runts. They taste like runts, but tasty. And then I see, of course, yay! These are adorable. A little Kudatama coin purse. It's adorable. <laughs> we have the front side and then if we flip it over you have the back side and it really is the back side adorable that's cute kind of naughty too but ooh and then a another Gutama open this up sorry if my lighting is horrible but can't really avoid that right at the moment, but so let's see what this one looks like. A little keychain. <laughs> nice. Okay. Can you see that? <laughs> it's like Jason with Gudetama. That's very cute little twist so instead of I suppose his normal machete he's got a fork that's cute <laughs> it's kind of I don't remember the that end being so well defined on the other figures that I've gotten but maybe I'll have to look a little closer so that is adorable too now and of course a little plushy course the Sailor Moon uh -oh. well they put the tag through the bag so. Sailor Quill cute it's adorable again my daughter will love this, but it'll probably go on my sh collectible shelf, so she's cute. I figured I'd get the bag off her head, though. And then we have another blind box with, looks like, little rings, maybe? else in there. Little candies. They're hard. I technically shouldn't eat those with my braces. But I probably will. Carefully. And here's the ring we got. It's adorable. See if it fits. Probably won't. Let me get it on my pinky. Fancy. That one will definitely go to my daughter. She'll love it. She loves all this jewelry stuff, so it's cute. The heart is nice and sparkly. And then we have one more thing left. And. This m might be my, the stickers, looks like. On the back here, kind of shows like a little diorama type thing. So we'll see which one we got. If it's a one on the front or a different one. Open. Oh, that's not going to help. There we go. Ooh. All 
Alright, so there is more of this, which I said in a different video that I thought this was like gum and I chewed out it like gum, but then eventually it actually disappeared, so it's not gum. But it's another cute little candy. And then we have a little diorama. That's adorable. Let me get pop up the little people. So that's cute. And then it comes with a bunch of stickers to put on it. So that's pretty cute. I like the little popcorn. The little character is pretty cute too. I really need to learn how to read this or understand it a little bit better so that I can know what they are. And if I don't I squish this flat. You can kind of see more of the other styles. But that's adorable too. And of course you could just use the stickers on the little notepad too. Oh these guys are cute. The little ones right there. So that is everything that is in the Yumi Twins box this month. I think they're pretty adorable. Um, there are definitely a lot of ones that are pretty, um, that are interesting. The, this little one right here is pretty, I haven't seen one like that before so that's kind of cute. It's definitely different. And then um, the, the little coin purse of course, I think that's adorable too. But I'm a big fan of this guy right here and then I think the little plush is cute I'm kind of more of a fan of like the brighter color ones but this is definitely adorable and um, it looks like it's an officially licensed one so I know that was a concern in one of the other maybe maybe concern in one of the other boxes I'd opened a while ago but these are adorable. This one is cute too. I don't know if you saw the little people in there or not. This is a really cute box. It's definitely girly. It's a little dark which I think is what one of the things they said on their website was that it'd be kind of a little dark twist to some of the things but um, it's girly, it's cute, it's kawaii. Um, neat that it comes straight from Tokyo and it came really fast too so that was kind of nice um, I thought it'd take a lot longer but it was definitely here pretty quick a um, couple of weeks so that's I think that's how the rest of shipping goes but we, we will see um, I think there's probably um, what you would pay for all this stuff separately I think it would be covered in the cost of the box for the month for sure um, it's definitely got some cute stuff. I think I'd probably order it again to see what else they had in store. Um, if this is their first kind of trial box to see how things are, um, see how people like them and see how well they do, then I think it's definitely something to give a try again. So what do you think? Is the stuff cute? Is it something that you would, would like to get every month for a surprise? I wish I did the theme song. So, very cool. Thanks for watching. You have to let me know what you think about this one, if it's um, something that you would buy. Maybe I'll check out another, another box sometime here in the future. And of course, if you want your own box, you can go to yumitwins.com to find your own box. So, there'll be a link below if you want to check it out and see what it's about. So, see you later.